game called Chef Goofy Says, and it is All just right. like Simon Ooh, says. Chef so Goofy. if I say Chef Goofy Says, you get to move. Oh yeah. And if I don't say Chef Goofy Says, don't move. Are you ready? All right, so we're gonna play some music. Listen closely. Here we go. Are they to do that? All right, what's he gonna do first? Chef Goofy Says, clap your hands. together. Now, Chef Goofy and I, we have some magical oatmeal almond cookies just for you. So we're going to walk around to each table and we're going to pass them out. So hang tight. We're going to start. Oh, they all get cookies. Again. Here we go. Oh, this is my favorite part. We get to try the magical cookies that you made. Here we go. Oh, yum. These are going to be really good. This batch is delicious. You did such a fantastic job. They look very magical. All right. You ready for some cookies? You ready to eat cookies? Awesome. All right. Here we go. We're excited for these cookies. They look so yummy. Fantastic. Great job, everyone. much fun. Chef Goofy, thank you so much for helping out all of our junior chefs today. You are amazing. Now, I know that you have a really busy schedule and a ton of baking his, to do, but do you think you have time for a quick picture? Yay! All right. Everybody, we're going to turn around and wave to friends and family in the back. Let's pose and say, cookies! Cookies! Oh my God, stop. Great job. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much, Chef Goofy, again. Everyone, Say goodbye to Chef Goofy. Bye, Bye Chef, Chef Goofy. Goofy. Thank you so much. That whole section. Yeah, we'll hit the wharf, bakery, and your deli. So we're going to the wharf. <laughs> we're gonna have lunch at Cocina Cucamanga, which is Spanish for crazy cocina. Ah, oh, look at you. I didn't get any of that right. Actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just joking. Oh my. Oh, yeah, goodness. Be careful. Careful. We're going to na navigate this situation right here, real quick. I'll find you. Uh, I will find you. Um, but first, we're going to take a detour right in here. We're going to go on a bakery tour. Now, what's really cool about the bakery tour here on the Pacific Wharf is that they think that after us. It, yeah, yeah. It's dedicated and themed. To us? To fresh bake. Oh, yeah. See? 
Bake fresh every day. You know what I love? Bread. Sourdough bread. I do. I just mm. sourdough bread tastes and smells so good. Let's get some. Ooh, our very own piece of sourdough bread. I just want to smell it. I know, right? I'm afraid to eat it because I want to enjoy it. Chew slowly. Are these the Bodines? That's Jimmy Bodine. No. Yeah. Hoyer. That's Larry Bodine. That's cool. Uncle Uncle Jimmy Bodine. He's their boat Jimmies. Oh, God, there you are. That's Pete. Hello, Rosie. <laughs> and I'm Colin. And we've got five or six hours Pete. of vacation slides to show you. All right. No, we don't, actually. We're going uh, to tell you all about sourdough bread. Yeah. Huh? Hello, Hello. Sarah. All right, let's okay, go. Okay, let's get started. Yeah, let's get started. Did you know that the traditional sourdough baking process is not the I did not know that. I feel like we're at Krispy Kremes right now. I wonder why they call it uh, mother dough. Because she's the mother of all doughs. Is there a daddy dough? We don't talk about daddy dough. Are there baby doughs? <laughs> we don't talk about... <laughs> all these are her little baby Daddy dough's a flat lever. Ixnay on the daddy dough. He's actually right down there, do you see him? <laughs> Maybe wow, that, is, that was surprisingly terrifying. I, was, <laughs> I did not need to see that just now. Here's some bread poo. <laughs> like a bread monster just dropped that off. <laughs> Somebody, my dog will eat that though. Is this where they give birth to baby bread? Oh, is this how they make baby bread? There's not, there's nothing in it. Nope. They're probably all adults now. They're probably already up to college. Let's talk about the Conical Rounder. I just got like Edward Scissorhands, Danny Elfman's like song where Vincent Price is like looking at his like machinery. It's like and also you see Edward just the regular robot. He's just like chopping away. And he's like, oh, and he takes up a cookie card and he puts it right there. And it's like, ooh, ooh. my wife's a weirdo. <laughs> there's no bread in here. They're not making any bread. They're over there. Oh, there's like different like kinds. What's that? It's like different kind of way. There's like one big one down there. I don't understand. Maybe they're all, it's lunchtime. Maybe they're all on their lunch break. You know, it takes 72 hours to go from mommy bread to baby bread. Right there. I wish it was that easy. Yeah. <laughs> and this is where they pierce the toast. Oh, <laughs> pierce the toast. You want to smear. Smear the toast. For the sandwiches. <sighs> Her turkey pesto sandwich, her is. But we're going to Cocina. No, I want Mexican. I want the Mexican. Look, they're poking holes in bread. They're piercing it. <laughs> I'll eat it. Oh. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. Why is she throwing it like that? <laughs> I hate this bread. Mmm, Rita's. So they have grand margaritas. Rita's grand margarita. That's Cocina Cucamonga straight ahead. That's where we're heading. To that place. Oh, we can mobile order this though. The great thing about mobile ordering, at least in my opinion, is that you can find your table first and then you can get order your food and then you can just sit there and wait for your food. 
because otherwise, you know, you have to split up the party, or you got to get in line first and then get your and then get your food, and then you don't know what kind of table you're gonna get. You can go look around for a good table, like Liz has just done. That's our spot right here with some birds. Bird. Lunch is served. Today we'll be having this thing. A cocina bowl. That thing. A cocina bowl. Uh, which word on the street is very delicious. I see uh, black beans, cotija, rice, beef. Yes. Corn. Onion, like yeah, coleslaw, onion, and coleslaw, I got yeah. some. Uh, guacamole. guacamole, but we have chips, so I'm gonna say half of it for my bowl and half of it for the chips. Guacamole, did you know, is Spanish for green stuff. I also got some street tacos. This for me. These are tiny little tacos with some rice, black beans, cotija, and that hot sauce right there. And then we discovered these on our last trip. This is the uh, agua fresca. And it is agua delicious. Ooh. And it's also all over Liz right now. <laughs> Party foul. Okay, I'm good. Uh, I want to see you remember what this tastes like. Go ahead and drink that right now. Do you like it? It's like almost like a liquidified smoothie. Oh yeah? Or like a juice, you know, like yeah, yeah. a Nutri-Drill, Nutri-Drill, Back to one. <laughs> Back to one. It's like a really healthy, like, juice, like, you know. <laughs> you know, with like the fruit. <laughs> Back to one. <laughs> okay, like or the old school wine where you know I remember my dad always eating his carrot juice in the morning and like you hear that yeah, yeah. you know with the carrots in it and the cucumber. <laughs> like, uh, all right, eat your uh, food. I want to see what happens. We forgot our our bamboo utensils, so we have to go plastic today. But I tell you what, we'll do. We'll uh, do nothing. We're just gonna eat with these. That's all we're gonna do. Go. Okay. Why don't you guys go to Ariel Rise? Okay, I'm gonna mix it oh. first. Oh, daring. She just wants. Okay. You, you don't like one of the flavors. Big onion. That's a giant onion. That she just manhandled. <laughs> Two hours later. I'm not even done yet. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, but you're really committed to this. Like, what if you don't like what you've just done? Honey, it's every, that's why I got it, because there's everything in the bowl sounded delicious. It's like stew. She hates it. I don't like it. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. You're making yummy sounds like mm. Frankenstein. Mm. <laughs> 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 May he rest in peace, Peter Boyle. Oh, yeah. Well, he had a good run. He did. He really had a good run. For a long time. Yeah. He got his 80s or 90s. Yep. Old age. Yep. Put a little of this on there. Yeah. Grab a taco. No, no. Oh, lime. yeah. Lime. I forgot about the lime. Lime. What's the lime? In the coconut. And Shakes it all up. Lime in the coconut. Okay, now I can eat it. Right, it's fresh. Like that's why I just I didn't want like a cheeseburger or fry. But, uh, this is this is yummy. Mm -hmm. This is yummy. Really <laughs> this is yummy. Oh, that is so good. It's very refreshing. I love it. I love it. I actually wish I got more guacamole now. I'm kind of sad. This is all very good. Okay, bye-bye. Mmm! 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 Oh, okay, go! Cigar? <laughs> Bravo! <-ha. laughs> What knockers! Oh, wow, thank you, Doctor. That's good salsa. My daughter, she's gonna need it. We're doing it as well. Salsa. Oh, okay, that's great. Where'd you work? I want one. Salsa shark. 
Did you know a kid in Australia found just a severed mako shark head? And they get pretty big. So it was either an orca whale or a great white that killed a mako shark. It's a cool story, bro. You know, right now, yes, honey, love of my life. There's people with whom I adore. I love you. Right now, there's people out here eating like sandwiches from the bakery and not this food. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the Disneyland should apologize to them for not having such good food that we're having and that they're only getting sandwiches. Well, the sandwich at the board is really good, though. No, it's not as good as this. No, it's not as good as this. I think that I think that we should offer them our food and say, look, I can see that you're eating those sandwiches and that you, should, you, should, you probably think you should rather have this with some chips and some aza fresca. It's a public service. I don't want to share. You want to keep your, your this and your this? I don't want a sandwich. We're just having sandwiches. Mm -hmm. By the way, the rice. I is, actually like the is, rice. Uh, like a, like a lemony pesto thing mm -hmm. or something, right? I think so, but it, it's you not, it's, it's not a traditional Mexican rice because no. I'm not a huge fan of Mexican rice, but I do enjoy I like this. This is good. And black beans are actually better for you than pinto, so I'm glad these. Is that right? Mm -hmm. I don't know pinto. why. It's, maybe it's not as much. Pinto beans seem like they're more uh, starchy, carby. Yeah. But this is great. This has everything that you need, like in a meal. Well, so what we're gonna do when we're done eating is we're gonna go to each table where we see somebody eating a sandwich from the wharf, and just I'm very sorry for you. I'm very sorry that you didn't get to have street tacos and a agua fresca. I don't want to do that. Learn if we don't They're like, that. oh my god, I don't want to go to that wharf place again, or I don't want to go to what's that place? Right. I don't want to the bakery, the, the Pacific Bakery. I don't. I forget what it's called. Boudin. Boudin. Boudin at San Francisco. Whatever. Nailed it. Crushed it. Got like, it. Like, oh, I don't want to go First there. First try. And they're like, okay, then let's try new places, and then maybe they'll, they'll come here. There's nothing wrong with the ham and cheese sandwich either, though. Except for the ham and the cheese. This is American cheese. They like some mayonnaise. Yeah, Change out for some bologna and white Wonder Bread. <laughs> What kind of bit are we doing? What? <laughs> What's happening? Just had a vision of me being five years old and having a bologna American cheese sandwich with mayonnaise. <laughs> we're, we're all grown up now. No. It's time for street tacos. God, which I'm enjoying, but if I want a bologna sandwich, even though I know it's like the worst thing for you, I'm gonna go on this one. I haven't had a bologna sandwich in forever. In a Ziploc bag? Actually, not a oh Ziploc bag. And then your mom gives you a note in your lunch pail? The bag that you don't zip, it just folds over. I hated those. Those little thin cellophane. I hated those. I'm mom, yeah. where's my Ziploc? But yeah. well, you'd have your little thermos. And then you write a note on the napkin. Yeah. Hi, honey. Hope you're having a good day. Make sure you eat your fruit. Love, mom. Love, dad. I had a My Little Pony lunch pail. And actually, my dad had an original 18 lunch pail. I'm really hungry. And you're the one with the camera on, and I'm just venting for you. I'm just, what's that, what's that, what, we're not venting, um. Vamping. Vamping, there we go. No, I said vamping. I said venting. I did, I meant vamping. I'm gonna have some of those. You ever just, like, really stop and, well, not stop it, as you're walking through, or anywhere, the park, or Disneyland, but just in public? And really focus and watch people's t-shirts and see what they're wearing. Best friends. Right? If they're wearing a t-shirt. Because t-shirts are like everywhere these days. But just stop and think about all the different kinds of t-shirts that are out there. While they're walking. And each one, whenever you see somebody wearing a t-shirt, they're making a personal statement with everyone. He loves Pizza Planet. He loves Toy Story. Like, when you put it on, you're like, this, I'm going to Disneyland today, and this is, this is gonna be my statement for everybody to be witness to. 
Now that statement could be that you love Pizza Planet, or it could be that you love, you know, Chevys, or it could be that you love Powerline, or you're a princess, or that you love your wife and you're wearing a matching t-shirt or something like that, right? Or that you are tolerating the fact that she wants to wear matching t-shirts and you don't. And maybe you make a joke out of it and you say, I don't do matching t-shirts and you wear that one. But it's, some, it's one of the little games that I like to play with myself at the park to just watch the shirts, watch the t-shirts. You know, me too. Right? Yeah. It's fun to be like, oh, I feel, yeah, like you said, I want to be a mermaid today. But like, if you're at home and you're wearing a t-shirt, that's, that's one thing. Little. It could mean nothing. But when you put a t-shirt on and you go to a public place like Disneyland or, or a sporting event or something, you yeah. are trying to say something. You are trying to say that you're a huge fan of the Lion King, you know? That, that, that's like a thing, it's a statement. Because you could have picked any shirt. Yeah. But you said that one. Yeah. You went through your shirt drawer and you said, that's the person that I want to be today. I wanted to be Mickey again today. Big fan of Oakland. I mean, that wasn't an accident. Nope. <laughs> Push bait got weird today. We've got lots more videos for you to see, so grab a churro and check out some of our other videos and have your mind blown by how much fun we're having. We truly are the best of Disney Bake Fresh Daily. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. Fresh Baked!